Hello and welcome back to the lecture on Applied Econometrics. Uh, we are in module 2 on econometric modeling and the particular topics that we are going to cover in this lecture are error term, coefficient of determination and regression coefficient. Now, error term is something that we are going to deal with pretty, pretty, pretty extensively going forward and this is the introduction where we are going to talk about where the error is coming from in the regression equation and how we are going to deal with it. Of course, the dealing part will come later, but mostly we will talk about where from it is coming. The second topic that we are going to talk about is coefficient of determination. Uh, we are going to see how coefficient of determination is actually related with a correlation coefficient. Uh, we will uh, try to sort of prove the relationship mathematically and then we will talk about the properties of regression coefficient. So, let us start with uh, error term in regression equation. Now, when we say error in a regression equation, we when we write a regression equation, in general we write uh, something like this. I will use the whiteboard. So, in general a regression equation would look like this. So, if my y is a dependent variable and let us say I have a beta 1 coefficient, beta 2 x and there is a error term, right. Now, this error term is something that is very important for a regression equation. We need to find ways to sort of identify where the error is coming from and of course, we build up different tools and techniques to reduce the error term. Now, the error term if uh, in general uh, to get an idea about how important this error term is, when for example, we run a regression say we usually use a regression on earnings say from education and we have some we have some error terms. some error terms. So, if we run this is a uh, kind of a very common uh, equation that we use and we use other explanatory variables as well. Uh, if we have the R square value for this uh, model around 5.5 or you know even less than 0.5, we consider that model to be a good model. So, that means 50 percent of the variation in the model is not or variation in the data is not explained by the model which is accounted for by the error term. But even then, the 50 percent of error, we uh, consider this model to be a reasonably good model. So, that means the error term is that big in your regression equation. So, now we need to understand where this error term is coming from. Let us say in your regression equation, the previous regression equation, uh, where you spoke about earning as an outcome of education. Let us say you also introduce some other uh, explanatory variable, let us say I will use a different color, let us say you use for example, experience. Okay. Now, if we run a regression actually we will see that your regression equation is actually the R square value is improving because the experience is something that accounts for your earnings. But there are so many other variables which may actually influence earnings, but you will not have the way to capture them. For example, it could be my talent my you know there are there are so many talents I have which are influencing my earning and uh, that cannot be captured by education or by experience right. There could be other variables like my family background, my social network. So, all these things which matters in terms of getting a job right. So, all these things that cannot really be accounted for in this equation. So, these, vari these variables which we cannot account for are called the problem because of that is or omission of relevant variables, let us say or omitted variable basically, omitted variables. So, omitted variables this is a problem. So, when we actually omit relevant variables. Now, another problem could be when in a model we actually end up adding more and more variables and the model <coughs> looks robust, robust, but it actually is not. So, many variables which are not relevant to the model, but still you end up incorporating. So, that will also create this error term. So, let us say incorporation of irrelevant variables, variables. So, this is another source of error. Third, the third source of error could be a uh, functional misspecification. So, what I mean by functional misspecification
is that the way these variables are related. Here I have kind of assumed that education, experience, all are linearly, re, linearly related with earnings. But there could be some other forms of these variables which might actually influence, which might actually have a more uh, direct relationship with earning. For example, I might have a variable called experience square. I can actually take experience square and I will actually see and that is the standard uh, notation. We will actually see that that is influencing earning even better, right. Uh, we we uh, in economics we often use a Cobb Douglas production function. So, there again we will see when we will talk about model specification how the functional specification is actually determining the robustness of the model. So, that could be another uh, issue or another source of error. <clears throat> The other source of error is that the, we are actually what we are when we are actually running the regression equation, we are actually aggregating all the different individuals and they have their different you know reasons and you know like different abilities which are influencing their earning uh, potential. Now, the aggregation always omits all the you know like uh, nitty gritties and because of the aggregation we actually end up getting some error. So, aggregation is another reason why we actually have this we get these errors. Now, all these uh, different items I have mentioned here, uh, we can actually sum it up in uh, something called model misspecification. Now, in model misspecification, you have all these different uh, uh, reasons that can actually come under the umbrella. Uh, model misspecification can also be caused because of the assumptions that you have made. For example, in a time series data, suppose what you have done is you actually have taken say you have forgotten to take into account the past period influence okay? and instead of that you have just regressed y with all the x variables. So, in that case your model is misspecified mis because you missed the structure here. So, that could be another reason why your, um, uh, you can get the errors. Another very critical problem for social scientists, people who collect data from the field is the quality of data that you get or the kind of variables that you can collect data on. So, I will tell you a story, let me just actually write down. So, let us say the data problem. So, what happens here is that suppose you want to collect data on certain uh, indicator, for example, let us say your income okay? or let us say the, uh, the question we discussed about ability. So, how do you collect data on ability? So, that is a really difficult thing to actually collect. But uh, the uh, one practical problem that uh, for example, in India national sample survey data when they collect the consumption data as a proxy to income. So, it often creates problem in the sense that you know what time you are actually collecting data, who is your respondent. So, I will tell you a story about of, a de of data collection uh, you know experience, it is a long, long way back and I think uh, two decades, three decades back. And that time data was being collected in Calcutta where people were you know like uh, the surveyors used to go to the home in the houses in the morning. And morning usually you have all the male people who are in, in, in who are still in home, they have not gone to their work yet. So, they were actually interviewing the male candidates. There was some apprehension about the quality of the data. So, what was done is that on the same households again after a couple of months the survey was conducted and this time it was in the afternoon. And there is a remarkable difference in terms of the finding that uh, people got. It actually what you saw is that the earnings of the households in the morning from the morning data we found that it is actually very, very low or relatively lower than the earnings that you found from the afternoon data. Now, why is that? So, that is very tricky problem and I would actually want you to pause the video for a moment and think about it. Now, but I will give you the answer. Uh, the reason is what was found out is that the, in the morning it was the male candidates in the household they were uh, you know reporting and they had for for some reason they were actually undermining their earnings okay whereas in the afternoon it was the female candidates in, uh, in the household they were reporting and they had for some reason they were actually inflating or actually giving the you know true picture of whatever consumptions they make so even this small nuanced you know uh, reasons can actually make a lot of differences in the data quality. So, data pro this because of the quality of data, we can often have this error that we see in the regression equation.